Hola. Okay, good. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so right now, uh, we're going to start uh, this YouTube transmission. And, uh, <clears throat> and later we can have um, more extended conversation about, well, something related, uh, something related to what I'm going to talk about right now. Okay, so, so the, so right now, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start with, uh, with the title of the, of the conversation, right? That what is your favorite movie now, right now, I'm not going to start with that right away. Um, I'm going to start with talking about stories because I believe stories are the concept of a story is very interesting and has been very important and it's necessary for our cultures, right? And for, for our, our own education, right? And, uh, and, and, and it's, and you know, when, whenever you, you're having a conversation with someone and the conversation starts getting interesting is because the other person is telling you a story and, and surprises happen, right? Unexpected things happen or funny things happen, right? So, and, <clears throat> and that's what you remember, right? And that's why stories are, how we teach little uh, little kids, right, uh, about complex stuff, right? We tell stories so we can so they can understand it, right? Right. So, so it's embedded in us to enjoy stories and to and because we live like in a drama, right? We in, in real life, it's like a it's like a drama, right? Uh, we're just acting or or we're acting out our own personality in some sense, right? So. So I'm going to talk about a story that that for me is very interesting, uh, and and I'm going to talk about this story because this is the way I I like movies, right? I like movies that 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 leaves a message, right? That you can think of and and it can be useful for later. Well, for me as a teacher, <laughs> ideas and and like different ideas and and being able to talk about them, it's 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 great for me. So. Uh, <clears throat> so it's a story about ancient Egypt, right? When 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 the Egyptians uh, started their civilization. Um, so the story, so <clears throat> the, the myth or the mythology of, of Egyptians uh, had several characters, right? They had and uh, they had some gods and goddesses, right? That, that were very important, right? And you had Osiris, right? Like it's the father of, of, of the Egyptian culture. Right of the so he was the one who uh, <clears throat> he was worshipped as the as the one who established the culture the culture in <clears throat> in Egypt right the first civilization right and he was the like the father now there was another one who was Seth Seth was his brother right and he was like the, the evil part right it's like the uh, it's the like the eternal duel that that you have among among brothers right in the bible you have another story like that with cain and abel right They're, they fight each other right and one kills the other well more or less it's the same thing in here with this with this egyptian mythology right that there's 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 osiris which is the father and there's seth which is the <clears throat> evil brother right and but the thing is that uh <clears throat> osiris decides to he, he grows old right he cannot die right you cannot he cannot die or he, or he cannot he cannot be killed either but but he he grows old so he willingly decides not to see the culture so culture starts to de to degenerate things start to get bad so seth takes so seth takes advantage of this and he and he and so he 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 grows as Osiris decides not to see his people and his culture, right? So there's a moment in which Seth becomes too powerful and he confronts his brother, the king, and he and he defeats him, right? And he sends him, he sends him away, Egypt, right? To the countryside, outside the, the kingdom, but he's not dead. Now, <clears throat> there's another goddess that is called Isis, right? And I'm gonna share my, my screen so you can see some of the pictures. <clears throat> So this is Isis, this is an Egyptian goddess. So she notices that uh, Osiris is no longer <clears throat> the king. So she decides to look him and he finds and he finds Osiris, right? But he's 
like shattered apart into parts, right? But he's not dead. But he he but they but somehow they they she gets pregnant, right? And she gets pregnant from Osiris, even though he's like shattered into pieces, right? But that's the Egyptian mythology. And Horus is born, this like eagle-like figure, right? Uh, and it's very interesting because it's an eagle and has very sharp, keen eyes, right? So he's an, he's with, and he wants to see over the culture, right? And he is legitimately the son of the king and a queen, right? And Isis is the queen of the underworld. She's the queen of, of chaos, right? <clears throat> so... Um, so from chaos and, 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 and Osiris emerges Horus, right? Which is, which is a, an, a, also a God, right? So Horus has to be, has to grow in a corrupted society ruled by Seth, right? But he grows old. And by, I mean, he grows strong <clears throat> and he, at some point challenges Seth and he defeats him, right? And the interesting thing about Horus is that he has wings, so he has the ability to fly and to see problems uh, from, from another perspective. And he has very keen eyes, right? So that's the, the eye of Horus is very famous, right? A lot of people has that tattoo, right? And, and the eye of Horus is very keen. It's very, it's very sharp. But Seth cuts one of his eyes in the battle, right? And when, but when uh, Horus uh, defeats Seth, he takes his eye, and he takes it to the underworld where all the Egyptians uh, were suffering, right? Like in the mythology, like the dead ones, the, 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 the fallen warriors and all of these people. And he took and he found his dad, his father Osiris in the underworld. He was dead, right? And he gives his eye to his father. So he, he rebirthed. He, 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 I mean, he, yeah, he's reborn, right? He, so Osiris is reborn and Horus is it's alive also, right? So they start ruling again. And the thing, and the thing about that I like about the story is that this, this story about chaos and order, right? And the thing is that they're <clears throat> they're connected, right? You cannot have chaos if you don't have order, and vice versa, right? And that's the way nature works. And we don't know why, but that's the way it is, right? So for me, it's very interesting this kind of story, and because <clears throat> Another thing is that Horus was, was willingly, willingly, he wanted to see the problems of the Egyptians, of the people, of, of their, you know, their creation, right? Um, and, and then in the other hand, Osiris, when he was old, he didn't want to. And that happens, and that happens a lot, right? When, when you give up on something, right? When, and that's like personal, right? When you give up on something, you start believing, you start, stop believing on, on something. And so you don't pay attention to it. And when that happens, someone else will take advantage of that. And that can bring problems, right? So, so this, this is a story in which <clears throat> um, things can, can go wrong, but, you, but you'd also know that you have the antidote uh, to, to, to fight back negative situations, right? If you work, if you are, if you're attentive, if you pay attention and you do your work, um, things can go back to order, right? As they were, right? So, so for me, it's a very interesting, interesting story. And, uh, and, and that's what I like about movies that, that they, they leave a message or that, or that, you know, they're, very interesting philosophical ideas at least to contemplate right so so okay um so i think um our time is is over for the for the youtube session and we can um we can continue with with a regular conversation. So you can open up your, your microphones and your cameras.